Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 28 of Last FIFA 15 and the first thing we do in this episode is to sell on our fitness squad. I wanted to build a new team that I thought would compete a little bit better in Division 1. So this episode will be a bit of a transition episode from uh, Division 2 to Division 1. We're building a new team and we are testing it out in the Champions Shield tournament just to get a feel for how it plays. And then in the next episode it will be on to Division 1. So yeah, we're building a new team. And uh, I decided to go out and pick up Remy, and we're building a bit of a French slash BPL slash Serie A side here. And we get Griezmann and we get Magidi. That would be our front three in a 4 3 2 1 formation. Uh, we get a few more French players in the midfield. We get a Matuidi. Uh, we get Cabela, and uh, we will also get a Brazilian player from the Premier League in Fernandinho. So uh, he will be our final player of the midfield. Now moving on to the defense, uh, we're keeping that French thing going. We've got uh, Tremolinas, we played him quite a bit in the past. We've got a Mangala, and uh, then we'll pick up a Mikon on the right back. And finally we'll get uh, Castan as uh, the final player of the defense. I heard a lot of good, good stuff about him from other people. They enjoyed playing him. So I wanted to give him a go. And finally we get Joe Hart for the goalkeeper spot. And uh, we get a position modifier as well for McGeady and a manager. Uh, just to get the final chemistry out of some of the players. So this will pretty much be the team. Magidi is on 8 chemistry. I didn't have the coins to convert him into a right forward. But we'll get around that eventually. In the net we do have Joe Hart. And um, 85 diving, 86 reflexes. He's quite tall as well. Maybe his handling and positioning isn't the very best. So we'll see how he performs. We've got Mangala. Uh, one of the players I just faced on several occasions. Whenever I face a Premier League squad. And I hate playing against him. So I decided to pick him up and see if I can make my opponents hate playing against him as well. Kastan, the other centre-back, medium-high work rates. He's not very tall for a centre-back, but then again, there's not too many crosses coming in. And he got a very good defensive and physical stats quite quick as well. Mikan on the right-back, we used him in the past as well. And he's just such a well-rounded uh, right-back in my opinion. Got all the stats you need in him. And Tremolinas, sort of similar apart from his shooting, which is really bad. But I don't really think I'm going to get many shots in with him, to be fair. Now, that is pretty much the defense. Uh, the midfield is kind of similar to our other 4 3 2 1 squad. We have one attacking player in the middle. This time in this squad, it's Cabela. Uh, 84 pace, 84 dribbling. And uh, yeah, we used him in the past as well. Fernandinho, medium high work rates. All the stats in the 70s or in the beginning of the 80s, really good stats on him. And then we do have a Matsu Edi as well. High, high work rates on him. Kind of similar to Fernandinho. His shooting is a little bit worse. I guess his defending and physical might be a little bit better. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much the midfield. So one player attacking and two players sort of at, uh, defending. I guess Matuidi will also push forward. Then we do have Magidi, high medium work rates, five star skill moves. He's quick, good dribbling. And that is kind of the stats uh, I at least want uh, on a right forward. And uh, then we do have Griezmann on the other forward spot. He got 85 pace, 83 dribbling and quite good shooting. I'd say passing is all right as well. Four star skills on him. And we'll see what we can pull off with him. And finally, Loic Remy on the top. I guess he's a bit of a sweaty player, so to say. He's really fast, and he's one of those players you just hate playing against. But I hope he will get me some, some crucial goals when I need them in Division 1. Because I know th th it will be tough to play in that division and, and to, to win the title. You need a lot of points. And uh, yeah, I think this squad might be able to do it for me. But first off... We're testing it out in the Champions Shield tournament, as I mentioned in the start of the episode. Uh, Mike on a little bit low on fitness here, so I applied a fitness item to him. Apart from that, I got ready to head on into the tournament. And uh, just as in the light last episode, I was going to face a Premier League squads just all over the place. A five at the back team, five, two, three, and he basically just played park the bar style. He had nothing going forward at all. Only his three front players were going forward. The rest seven players were just sitting back most of the game. I got a chance from kickoff, but McGee was gonna fluke that absolutely. Just to fire it out of the stadium. We tried out a shot from distance here as well, but uh, no accuracy from Cabela. But eventually we get a chance and Griezmann. He would finish that with his weak foot. And look at that. It was actually quite nice. A little fake shot. And it shoots it in between the legs of the defender and hits the post. That was pretty crazy. I thought like he was able to like get height on it while panning the defender and hitting the post at the same time. Quite nice shot there to bring me up 1-0. And uh, yeah, as I said, uh, he was quite defensive. And it was really difficult to break this guy down. Because there's just so many players trying to break down all the time. But... Uh, 
We got a few chances going every now and again. I tried to chip his keeper here, but it just goes just over the bar, unfortunately. Another chance, 61st minute. It's Griezmann on the ball, which actually is a quite nice little player to use, in my opinion. Got it in on the weak foot there, but the shot was blocked off because just, just too many defenders. They were literally everywhere. But Magidi got on the ball, a little bit lucky to hang on to it, and he would give me that 2-0 goal in the 79th minute. And then Cabela on the ball, a few nice skill moves here, beating several defenders before picking up a free kick. And uh, yeah, he was quick to put a play on the line, so I thought, you know what, let's try and pass it short and uh, send it up for a little uh, bicycle kick. But uh, my player took the bicycle kick way too early, didn't hit the ball, and instead I got a tackle in, he got a lucky bounce. And his only shot on target would be a goal in this match uh, to make it 2-1, but... That was way too late, and he was never going to win this game. So, um, yeah, i say this was a pretty comfortable win after we had that 1-0 goal because, like, he had a few shots. He had 35% uh, possession, and a few shots which just didn't trouble my keeper at all. And then that one goal at the end, he was just playing very defensive. So, um, we head on into another game with the team. And uh, I'll match up against yet another Premier League squad, basically. Um, this time in a 4-4-2 formation. And we played a three minutes. We find McGeady here. And I tried to get the goal there. Hit the post. And now look at this. I'm not too sure how that was a penalty. But I got it. I think he might have tackled it trying to clear it. And then he hit McGeady. And he will score it in off the crossbar. McGeady there. A little bit lucky there. But it did actually cross the line by quite a bit, as you can see there. And that means um, we go up 1-0 very early in this game. Now we get another, we got a free kick uh, in the 42nd minute. I decide to play it short, flick it into there, chip it into the box, try the bicycle kick there, but not enough power on it and an easy save for the keeper. Third, uh, 43rd minute, we run the ball again. Matt Reedy breaking a little bit forward here. A few step over, speeding the defender, and I tried for the fancy finish there, but Remy just ended up sliding and getting it over the line. And he got a corner in the start of the second half. I was able to clear that away, find Loic Remy, a little over it, flick past the defender, and you are never gonna catch him. He is so quick, and he's able to run down to the keeper, beat him as well. I tried for the fancy finish over the line, it locked onto Griezmann, and instead he would give a fancy finish a go. So a fancy pass to a fancy finish there. To make it um, to make it 3 0 a nice little goal I'd say I love the over the flick to beat the defender and then beat the keeper as well with the ball we've got another chance for me on the ball here and it tried for the chip but he had a defender on the line to head it away and in the end we win the game at three to nil and that is pretty much going to be where we end off this episode as well so uh, we have our squads ready for division one now I felt pretty comfortable playing with this team so in the next episode it will be division one we'll see if we can pick up some good points and win it and that's all thank you for watching and I will talk to you later